don't know, Eid is celebrated at the end of Ramadan, which is a whole month of fasting. And so we've observed 30 days of fasting. We decided that we wanted to do one on campus here so people could see what it is. We're going to start dinner, and we're going to start with the last four tables. To be honest with you, this event is here because of a freshman students who uh, wanted it and so our office decided to support them, but it's really because our, uh, our students asked for an Eid party that we decided to get behind it. When I came here, um, I, it, was, it was halfway through the month of Ramadan and I was fasting and it's just, it's fasting by yourself, it's just, it's horrible. You have. Even though your family is doing it with you, it's, it's still horrible to sit at 8.30 at night eating by yourself. Um, so I wanted to, first I wanted to make an iftar, which is which just is a breaking of fast, like dinner once, and then it just kind of escalated into an Eid party. And usually you have a rich dish that takes a long time to prepare. The women prepare it. And, starting at the night to get ready for the next day. Um, just a lot of a lot of rice of course. And it just it just depends on what country you're from um, and the dish you prepare. Um, three of my good friends from high school are Muslim from Egypt and so I really became a fan of their culture. Try it out. That is so cool. It's like beef stew plus lemon and like pecans. Wow, that was like a cultural slap in the face. There's like all these different textures at once. That was really good. I like that. But Americans are for, for unity. We care about each other. We're interested in each other's cultures. And so I thought this, this was a really good time.